panhandler injured a two-year-old boy on the subway in New York City on Saturday, the latest violent incident plaguing the transit. The attack happened on Saturday afternoon around 3 p.m. on a northbound C train in Manhattan. The New York Post reports the train was at West 116th Street and Douglas Boulevard when the female beggar approached a mom and her boy, who were sitting on the train, to ask for money. When the beggar got too close, the mother asked, can you please stay six feet away? The beggar, who has not been identified, didn't heed that request and stepped on the woman's left foot. Why did you step on me? The mother asked, before the panhandler began wildly throwing punches, connecting at least once with share this article share the toddler was left with visible injuries to his face. The attack only ended when a witness pulled the suspect off of the mother and child. An ambulance transported the boy to Mount Sinai St. Luke's and he was later with the suspect, meanwhile, was able to flee when the train reached the next station. She is described as being in her 40s, heavy set with a neck tattoo and a buzz. She was wearing a gray hoodie, washed out jeans, boots, and a white mask. Pix11 reports this wasn't the only subway attack in Harlem. On Sunday, a 32 year old man was attacked on a northbound 2 train, near the 110th Street. The man suffered minor lacerations to his extremities. The suspect in that attack, a man in dark clothing, has also evaded arrest. The attacks come amid a spike in subway violence over recent weeks for New York's a 21-year-old slasher was charged with killing two homeless people on the A train earlier in February and is being held without bail. Rigo Berto Lopez is also accused of attempted murder after slashing two other people during his deadly spree. Transit workers are asking for a resumption of the 24-hour subway schedule, which was suspended in May to allow for station cleaning due to the coronavirus. Employees are claiming the overnight hours when the subway is in Since August, meanwhile, there have been almost 300 allegations of harassment against subway workers. Two more hours are currently being added to the system's operation, though two hours will remain without service from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. each night for cleaning. The MTA recently asked for the deployment of 1,500 more officers in the subway system from the N. Instead, the NYPD sent less than half of that on Tuesday adding 644 police officers to the sub. The transit system has suffered greatly since the start of the pandemic, with ridership down around 90% as people work from home.